And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio. Working up towards getting ourselves defended to attack everybody. So this also uses sulfur and coal, which we have right up here. Unfortunately, we kind of... I wonder if I can just, of course, like that, and power poles. There we go. So the alien artifact is done. So where, there it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, there it is. It's definitely a chemical plant. Eight sulfur, eight coal. Gives you 10 alien explosive fluid. Can we bottle that up somehow? Is there a fluid handling i think i've researched like the bottling effects gas no so it doesn't look like we can actually bottle that stuff up it looks like we have to use it on site so how does that look that's a grenade there's the explosive artillery shell. So we're gonna need some steel down here and five explosive fluid. And these the explosive fluid, oh, one second for every 10. So one of these can support two crafters, which is awesome. So we can actually do this right here and this is going to be explosive alien fluid. Never actually done this before. So this is a learning process f for me. So there are those two things. I need a requester chest requesting yellow alien artifacts. And this needs to be hooked up not into the yellow. I want these to be there. And this will be the explosive artillery shell, which is awesome. Just like that. Let's underground it here and here, and then put the rest connected up like that. That way it's kind of a closed system and give it some power so that filled that up really fast so even though we're making explosives right here i don't want to mess with the belts so we're going to bring in explosives and steel right here so explosives steel and output the delectable And the craft time on these is eight seconds, but we're doing it almost three times faster. So we're doing it in less than four seconds. It's probably like three and a quarter seconds or something. So these, these babies here, explosive artillery shells, these should go into the cannon, the artillery slot on the cannon. So it looks like our sulfur, I kind of like having the sulfur down here, just mining it up. <coughs> Need to grab something to drink after this episode. Okay, so there is 32 explosive cannon shells, or explosive artillery shells, rather. Plus, we've got alien research going that we can 
tap on at any time if we really want to. Alien acid fluid, alien poison fluid, alien flame through fluid. So those are all the aptly named and colored different fluids that you can get. Not too interested in the other ones. You know, the biters have pretty good resistances to all of that. Uh, lights. There we go. So these definitely should go in there. And I am dying to know. Uh, let's see. Oh. How these things work. So can I just manually... Oh, nice. That is nice. Boom. But how do they function? Uh, oh, let's see. There's really no way of getting out of this, is there? So we got to think of how to create an entrance and exit for us here that we can use with the tank, but is still well defended. So let's take this and we're going to remove the inserters <coughs> and remove these. And let's look at walls coming in. So we don't want to do it there. We want to do it right here. And we don't want to do it here. We want to do it right here. This is kind of a gauntlet here. Uh, so we need some more turrets. Like that. We need to hook these things up. So these are coming down. See, these are being filled down. So we need to rotate these down, and these need to come over. Because I'm going to do this and this, and then underground. Underground the ammo. Like that. So that way this supply comes down, it gets fed through here, and it just continues on. And I don't have to worry about it missing ammo. And it's just a matter of power. Um, I want this gone because that can stretch all the way over there. And here we go. We now have an entrance to our fortifications that we can go out and kind of got to be a little bit careful with it, but it should be good. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Let's grab those. Don't jump out of your tank while it's in route. I meant to hit this key here. So let's see. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So it's not, it's not really on offensive. I mean, even the Gatling gun is... It's pretty tough, though. I'll give it that. Very tough, actually. Wow, the, the, the artillery actually can shoot really fast. Look at that. And the explosive, boom. Good way of getting rid of trees, that's for sure. 
I mean, the trees just disappear with this thing. Oh, man. Yeah, these spiders are so tough. You just keep moving and that way they can't spit at you. Oh, there we go. And we're out. Wow. That took a lot of ammo. A lot of ammo to do. So we need to stock up on all the ammo types. And as well as am or regular ammo like bullets because we're going to be using the autofill feature so we're going to need a lot of bullets and the the tank is really tough it looks like it has 5000 health which is awesome so I actually, when we're gearing up for war here, I want to um, grab all the cannon shells that I can. Okay, so let's grab all those, put them into the tank, and let's see. So there's all the cannon shells. Let's put all the bullets in there. I'm going to take all of my requests out. That way I can put most of my stuff in my inventory away and not actually have it consuming space so I can maximize not only how many turrets we have, but how much ammo we can carry. And let's see up here, where is it? Explosive. Wow, those are full already. Let's grab those. Ammo should be up here. Let's grab all of the ammo. All of the ammo. And let, even though it's, I've got an express on that. Yeah, I do definitely have an express on that. Okay, we've got tons of ammo. We've got tons of cannon shells and artillery shells. I want to set up a chest by my tank parking area. Let's set up a chest over here. Doesn't matter what kind it is. And I need some power. Or I need some lights, I mean. Like that. Light up my world. Let me give some. Some serious amount of power and serious amount of inventory space here. So much stuff in my inventory. Just like that. Don't need the laser turrets either, because they suck. Okay, we've got lots of ammo. Lots and lots of ammo. Let's grab those. Let's go see how our turrets are doing. What I'm essentially thinking is we're going to be placing down just hundreds of turrets. And I am not going to go pick them back up again. So I'm just going to continue in, in working towards, you know, clearing out that row. Just going to leave the, the turret spam down. Um, and so I'm hoping that we'll be placing enough turrets that, you know, if some run out of ammo or whatever, it'll be fine. Because there'll be so many other turrets around. 
Um, as we clear it out, the, the attacks will become less frequent. Therefore, they won't need as much ammo. And I'll just keep burrowing into the... Because I need a kind of a beachhead. I need a, a way to get in where I'm not going to have uh, biters coming at me from both directions. And that is the big thing is making sure that I'm I'm kind of working my way up through and just keeping it on one line because it gets a little crazy. And the the gaps here are all due to trees. That's just trees, which are explosive shells will come in majorly handy. Uh, so there's the sniper turrets. Um, let's just clear out. Because we got a lot of sniper turrets in here. As I was building the wall, it was uh, I was or, or upgrading the turrets. I mean, I was upgrading the turrets, so it was it was building new ones before it got the old ones. So I got a kind of a surplus of the of the old ones. I could upgrade the regular gun turrets to the Mark Fives, but they don't do nearly as much damage as the regular turrets. So all the cannon shells are full already again. Good lord. All right. So now we've got tons of turrets. Uh, let's clean up this middle row here. So we don't need any of this stuff. I just want that to be useful stuff. Okay, so we've got turrets. I actually have some gun turrets. I don't want those in my inventory. I don't want to accidentally grab them. So we've got a few poison capsules. Not really going to use those for much. Um, the tank, uh, you know, is... The tank is at a point where if it is in real danger, I can actually pick it up now and not... and and carry all the inventory that it has you put enough in the tank and you pick it up it'll drop it all on the ground and that that just that just makes it sad for everybody okay so where should we start attacking all my cannon shells are littering littering the ground here so i'm thinking um, coming in and there's a thin spot right here. So if I come down and take care of this base, uh, I should be able to kind of work my way in. So let's head down here. I can always run back to my base if I ever really get into a, a tight spot. Um, because if I still have the wall o turrets here that just devastate everything because these biters are vicious okay we need some trees there that are going to be a little bit tricky to place down turrets i like wide open areas that you can just spam turrets but very difficult when there are trees in the way so let's see just before i what i've been doing the strategy that i started using is placing down one like turret as like a sacrificial turret and then placing down a whole bunch so that they all target that first one while the other ones are just killing them but the attack will have to wait till the next episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.